hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain how to get an image preview using functional component in react.js let's check the final output to get an image preview using functional component in react.js application I'm choosing the file the choose file react.js interview questions so here we got an image implementing cascading cascading dot image now if I click cancel see here now I got uh, I'm not getting any error before we got an error now I'm not getting an error if I cancel the window if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates in my previous video, I have explained how to get an image preview using class component. If you don't know how to create image preview using class component with file upload controller, at the end of this video tutorial, I will, I will give that link. Or you can go to my React.js playlist tutorials. You can find n number of React.js examples. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. Let's close this image preview.js class component. I'm creating one new JS file for to create a functional component. I'm creating a new file in the source folder and the source folder image preview of functional component fen.js js file. And here we got our js file newly created js file. Now this js file will convert into a component. To create a component in React.js, first we are required to import the React class from the React library. Let's add that one first. Import React from React library. After that, I'm creating one simple function component. Preview function, which is my file name. After that, at the bottom, I'm exporting default. Uh, default image preview file which is my file name after that we don't require here function now let's add the return method in the return method I'm adding a root element the div inside divs I'm adding image preview using functional component react.js tutorials I'm adding one horizontal line after the horizontal line I require one file upload controller and one image element let's add those two elements in this due section the file type input type is equals to file after that I'm adding one simple horizontal line to separate the image and file output input file out uh, input element file image source we require a source which is a path of the image so I'm adding the source attribute as well as I'm adding other two attributes height and width let's add 250 and width also the same 250 now we require the alt attribute also now let's add the image preview that's it up to now we have just added only elements to the function file upload element and one image element now before adding the image preview functionality let's check the output how it looks this functionality on the browser so this file now to run this component we need to configure our component in the index.js file here image preview which is my previous example I have showed the class component I'm deleting that one I'm adding the image preview font as well as we need to import our component at the header section the path the path is uh, uh, 
image prefer. Let's save this file, save all. Now it's time to run our application, go to view, terminal, and let's close this one, Y. And notice here the path is my folder name and my application name, project name. So make sure the path is correct to run our application before npm the command nudget package manager start enter and here we got our output of our functional component what we'll do is we'll put this in the center so it looks clearly put in the center I'm not concentrating on the designing part in this tutorial. I'm just concentrating on the functional to get the image preview. Save all. Now we've got the data in the center. Now when a user select choose file element, I got a window open here, which I can able to select some images. I'm selecting the image notice here when i select the image i'm not getting image preview here because we have not added functionality so let's do that one switch over to the coding part now it's time to add the functionality first we require to create a state to create a state we need to use use state hooks so let's add one constant variable which will take two arguments one is a, a image file you can give any name here image file upload image upload image is equals to in functional component to create a state we use use state hook if you don't know how to use use state and set state in react.js applications I have explained clearly in my react.js interview question tutorial series you can find that video in my playlist so let's continue the tourist tutorial after creating the state now we require the functionality when you user clicks the uh, file input uh, element so we require one handler uh, again I'm adding one constant variable you can use constant or let whatever is uh, necessary but here I'm adding constant variable I'm declaring one image file handler file handler is equals to e I'm adding the I'm creating the uh, arrow functionality right? and here now the upload image is to modifying the new image to get the preview image upload image url dot create object url e dot target dot files I'm targeting the files. Files is a property which contains a list of files. That's why I'm adding array. And in the array, I'm adding zero, which is a ob which is a index value. So zero is the first index. So I'm here. I'm selecting only one image only. So I have added only zero. That's it. Now we require to add this image file handler event to our file upload element on change event and also we require the source the path we are getting from image file that's it let's save this file we'll check the output after adding this functionality I'm reloading the browser let's choose file uh, how to add a scroll bar see here we got an image let's select one more image here we got another image preview 
Now, if I cancel this window, notice I got a type error failed to execute create object URL because its overload resolution failed. To fix this error, simply add in functionality. We require the length of the file is not equal to zero. So e dot target dot files dot length is a property is not equals to double equals to zero. We put this in the curly bracket. Let's save this file. Save all. Now it's time to check the final output. I'm reloading the browser. Let's check the final output to get an image preview using functional component in React.js application. I'm choosing the file. The choose file. React.js interview questions. See here we got an image. Implementing cascading. Cascading dot language. Now if I click cancel. See here now I got uh, I'm not getting any error. Before we got an error, now I'm not getting an error. If I cancel the window, that's it. In this video tutorial, I have explained image preview to get an image preview using functional component in React.js. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel. Catch you in my next video tutorial.